Welcome to Wicked Wild Food and Essex Boy Forages in the Essex countryside. This morning, me and Hank are up very early because he had the shits. It's a glamorous life of dog ownership for you, but because of that, we have managed to get out quite early. She's always nice, see the sunrise, the reason Hank has the squits, by the way, is because he's been drinking dirty farm water. Lol. That's the stink horn, and that's the M11. Now the flies will come and eat all that brown crap at the top, and that'll grow up into a, a fairly long, very phallic shaped mushroom what do you think weird isn't it now this is a stink horn sort of egg really this is what it grows from it's absolutely gross it's like something from alien so technically you could eat that but who would Now down here, we've got some absolutely massive, oh, <laughs> fell over, birch polyphores. You all right, Hank? So that's a birch polyphor. Now you can cut them to the razor strops. <sighs> lots and lots and lots of food people will tell you you can use this as a natural plaster. How convenient is it when you cut yourself to go and find one of these, cut a bit off of it and wrap yourself around it? Yeah, you can carry one of these around with you all day in case you cut yourself, or you can get a pack of elastoplast. But yeah, you can use it as a plaster. So hilariously, after sort of taking the piss out of the birch polyphor's use as a plaster, while picking up chest, shush Hank, while picking up chestnuts, I sort of cut my thumb. So uh, yeah, I used a birch polyphor plaster. Cut it off the base, self-adhesive to your thumb, antimicrobial, antibacterial, jobs are good and I'm an idiot. So this is the birch polyphore once it's dried and cut into strips to be used as a razor strop. Basically that just means something to sharpen your razor on, drag it across it, backwards and forwards. Take a long while to dry out. It's a field full of shaggy ink caps. This one down here. So they're a little bit early to eat, to be honest, at this stage. But you want to get them quick, because once they get to that stage where you've got a little black skirt on them, they'll basically start sort of melting into an ink. A little party. Good for creamy mushroom sauces. Good morning. Yeah, Hank's still ill, so we thought we'd go out on an early forage. So that is what the shaggy ink caps turn into. Sort of gelatinous, inky mess. Now that ink can be used as an alternative to squid ink. Vegan alternative to squid ink. There you go. 